Let's turn to the state of the Republican Party. Your fellow Republican Senator Mitt Romney, who I believe is a friend of yours, he, he was booed by delegates at the Utah Republican Convention yesterday. What was your reaction when you saw that clip of him being booed and the close vote to censure him? I was appalled. Mitt Romney is an outstanding senator who serves his state and our country well. We Republicans need to remember that we are united by fundamental principles such as a belief in personal responsibility, individual freedom, opportunity, free markets, a strong national defense. Those are the principles that unite us. We are not a party. Uh, that is led by just one person. There are many uh, prominent, upcoming, younger men and women in our party who hold great promise for leading us. And I think that all of us who abide by those uh, principles should remember uh, Ronald Reagan's uh, admonition to Republicans that the person who agrees with you 70 or 80 percent of the time is your friend, not your enemy. And yet, if you look at what's going on in the House among Republicans, I mean, some Republicans, including Kevin McCarthy and Steve Scalise, are attacking and trying to undermine Congresswoman Liz Cheney uh, just for fist bumping Biden on the floor, also uh, for speaking out against Trump's lies uh, about the election. Uh, they're obviously also upset she voted to impeach the president. Is it politically dangerous to be a Republican like Liz Cheney, who tries to stand up for facts and truth regarding the election and the insurrection? Liz Cheney is a woman of strength and conscience. And she did what she felt was right. And I salute her for that. We need to be accepting of differences in our party. We don't want to become like too much of the Democratic Party, which has been taken over by the progressive left. We need to have rooms for a variety of views, especially since we adhere to those core principles that I mentioned earlier.